This video, designed for Bellevue University Blackboard users, illustrates the most critical differences between Blackboard version 9.1 Service Pack 7 and Blackboard 9.1 Service Pack 9. Bellevue will be updating to Service Pack 9 in August of 2012. A Service Pack update is not a major upgrade, but there are a few new interface changes you will want to be aware of. You should also know that in addition to the information covered in this video, there are other minor changes and enhancements, most that pertain solely to Bellevue instructors, included in this update. These instructor-only changes pertain to activities involving the grading of tests, activity reports, menu headings, and rubrics. For a full list of all these changes, see the website given in this link and in the information below. This video will focus on two key updates, which affect both students and faculty course-to-course -course navigation, and the new and improved text box editor. In Blackboard 9.1 Service Pack 9, users can navigate from course to course without having to return to the Blackboard homepage. This can be done via the course-to-course -course navigation menu in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. Expanding this menu will reveal a pop-up list of all the courses in which you are enrolled, and you can maneuver to each course directly using this menu. The other major item included in this service pack upgrade is an updated text box editor. This new and improved text box editor appears throughout Blackboard in discussion boards, writing assignments, etc. For this video, we'll take a look at it in the creation of a new discussion board thread. First note the arrow button in the upper right hand corner of the text box editor. This button allows you to show more or less of the text editing options. You can use the full screen toggle button to switch your text box back and forth from full screen to window view. And the information button provides a key to the rest of the symbols utilized in the text box editor. Because this information button does provide a complete key for you, you can also find out what a button does in the text box editor by simply hovering your mouse over it. We're not going to go through every button in the editor, but I will point out a few highlights. The top line of buttons contains your standard text formatting tools. Font, style, size, color, highlighting, etc. The second row contains tools you may recognize from your word processing software. Cut, copy, paste, bullets, lists, justification, indent, superscript, subscript, and text direction. The last two buttons in the second row are worth pointing out. This button is a spell check tool, and the eraser tool removes all formatting in your text. This is a good button to use if you do run into problems pasting in text from a Word document or other source. The third row of icons mostly includes buttons that allow you to add various types of enhanced content to your text. Quotes, emoticons, symbols, images, attachments, etc. If you would like to include a link with your post, you will need to highlight some text in the text box, then click the insert edit link icon, which will have appeared. Here you can paste your link. Two other rather unique add-ins I'd like to point out include the embedded media button, which is good if you have a specific YouTube video or other piece of online content you want to add into your post. Simply paste the link in the window should determine what kind of content it is and modify accordingly. Then click insert. You can also use the mashup button to post YouTube videos, as well as Flickr photos, SlideShare presentations, and NBC content. This is a better choice when you don't have a specific video in mind and will need to search for one. It allows you to search for a YouTube video and add it to your post as shown. The bottom row of icons in your text box editor gets a bit more technical. They include table creation and editing tools, 
and more advanced web design tools. For those who are comfortable editing directly in HTML code, you can use the HTML code view icon to switch to purely HTML view to make edits to your text. The preview button allows you to see the results of what you have in your text box editor and submit creates your post. This concludes our introduction video for Blackboard 9.1 Service Pack 9. To see a complete list of all the changes and enhancements in Service Pack 9, most of which pertain to instructors, click on the link shown here and contact the service desk, your instructor, or your course owner if you have any questions.